All right, so we're going to unbox the Temple of Elemental Evil, which is the fourth box game for Dungeons & Dragons in the D&D Adventure System Cooperative Game. This is the fourth game after Castle Ravenloft, Wrath of Ashardalon, The Legend of Drizzt, and then the Temple of Elemental Evil. Because this is a 5th edition game, this came out in 2005th edition. However, the mechanics for these cooperative games are in 4th edition. So these are also awesome because you can play 1 to 5 players. You can solo this if you want to. So I haven't opened this up. I just took the wrapper off. So let's... Uh, I traded a bunch of 1st edition uh, hardbacks that I had. Some 2nd edition and some Pathfinder 1st edition for this. So I haven't even opened it up yet. Look at that. Oh, you can get so... You can get a high from smelling that stuff. Th these boxes are very sturdy cardboard also with a very nice vinyl, a vinyl wrap as you can hear. So this is sturdy. It's not going to fall apart. It's built to last. So, okay. It looks like we've got our... This bag is not a toy. Warning! This bag is not a toy. Warning. Wow, look at this. Look at how politically correct we have to be in society now. Isn't just this just amazing? Warning. To avoid danger of suffocation, keep this bag away from babies and children. Do not use in cribs, beds, carriages, or playpens. Tear up bag before throwing away. <laughs> that is just absolutely unbelievable i mean seriously unbelievable guys I, i'm just like you think you see it all in life and then you even see more so here's here's uh that awesome attack wing game that they put out do they still even make stuff for that anymore i i don't even know i don't i don't think it was very popular but that's just that's just my opinion so here's everything in that bag D, &D encounters Attack wing. Oh, look at this. Here's the figuring reference sheet. This is new. Nice. They got some nice uh, clear miniatures again. Some air elementals. Oh, this is awesome. Look at that. These are the icons of the realm minis too, guys. So I have all these. I have like 1,500 of these. So I will not have to use these miniatures. And I can use these to paint. So, when I play this, I'll be breaking out my Icons of the Realms minis, and that will be awesome. Look at that. Here's the rule book that you can download from Wizards of the Coast. You can just do go to the Watsy site, do a search for Temple of Elemental Evil board game. This will pop up probably about 15 pages. And uh, it is. And it has gold pieces now. That's pretty cool. So now you can spend gold pieces. It was XP, but I don't know. I haven't read it. Uh, so don't correct me in the comment section because I'm just looking at it. So here's everything about the rules, the different uh, treasure cards, all the attack bonuses, how to read monsters. Uh, ho, ho, ho. Here's two new conditions that are introduced. Disadvantages and advantage, which was stolen from 4th edition, by the way. My little 4th edition plug. It was just called Roll Twice and Take the Best, or Roll Twice and Take the Worst. Barrowin, a new cleric. Can we get some other classes besides all the same classes? So this has everything that you need to play. Everything that you uh, need to learn how to play, and you can download that PDF from the site. The adventure book you cannot download, I guess probably because of all of the different uh, copyrighted crap there's 13 adventures just like there's 13 adventures in every other box this is the fourth box this came out in 2015 i think this you know the the book tells you you know all the special adventure rules for each one what tiles you need the objective the number of players etc pretty awesome i like it here's the tiles oh wow how did they pack these oh all right oh what is that? Oh, wow. They're getting fancy. They're putting a separator in there now. Oh. Ooh, smell that. Oh, wow. Look at all the minis here. Holy cow. They put them in Ziploc baggies. 
Let's open up these tiles, shall we? So the tiles, the great thing about all these board games, guys, is they're all compatible with one another. So you can play the Legend of Drizzt characters. If you want to play Drizzt or Brunor or Caddy or Regis, you can do that in this game. Oh, wow. So here's a... Wow, these are... They're double-sided tiles now. So, wow. So not only do you get these, like, town tiles... You're getting, like, dungeon tiles, too, now. So, wow, you're getting, instead of, like, 42 tiles, you're getting, like, 84 tiles now. That is awesome. And then here's, like, all kinds of, like, villager tokens. But if you got minis, put the minis on there. That would look so much better. And here's, like, all kinds of, like, gold pieces. So gold pieces are new. I, I noticed gold pieces in, in the last game, too, with uh, the Legend of... Uh, was it a Shardalon or Drizzt? But anyways, there's gold now. Look at that. And these are all double-sided now. This is really nice. I like this. Wow, pretty nice. And there should be like 13 sheets in here. Wow, 1,000 gold. And then look at this character sheet. That's the uh, the Black Dragon. Velathedros. Or Velathedros. However you want to say it. I'm not picky. You can say it anyway. I'm not going to correct you. So there's the village attack, and then here's the regular one. So, wow. There's your healing surge tokens. Let's look at these. Uh, let's look at the other tiles, too, really quick. I'm, I'm excited about these tiles. I really like these double-sided tiles, guys. That is, That was very smart of them to do. It only took them four games, but that is pretty smart to do, I'm going to be honest. Ah, uh, yes. Oh, uh, oh, yes. Yeah, here's more tiles, guys. Look at those beautiful tiles, man. And game pieces. So there's dungeon tiles there. So they're not all double-sided, it doesn't look like. Oh. Bummer. I guess it's just the town, maybe. Maybe the town is, like, already pre-made. So there's your disadvantage and advantage stuff. All kinds of markers on the on the tiles. Wow. Lots of gold. Trap tokens. Yeah, very nice. And then here's all the name tiles that the adventure will call for specific name tiles like the fire altar or the water altar, or, you know, etc. Massacre site. So maybe these are... I haven't read the rules yet. But like I said, this is just an unboxing to show you guys what you get. Which you get a ton of stuff in here, man. And like I said, these are compatible, man. I love it. So it looks like these are all dungeon, Yeah, dungeon tiles here. Here's the character sheets. The cool thing about these character sheets is they're... Well, these are the... These aren't... Well, Nemistra, she's the Sun Off Wizard. But the, the characters... There, you can go up a level, so you second level. So the first side is like first level stats, as you can see, and then when you flip it over, there's the Mistress, you know, level two sheet. And here are the, you know, the bosses basically, the villain cards, level five villains, which really they are pretty strong. It looks like the, it looks like these are stronger than the other boxes. So yeah, that's really nice. There's an Etten. Uh, an air elemental, a fire elemental, uh, an earth elemental. So it looks like all the elementals. A salamander, uh, not a Rosni, but a, a, a salamander. And then, uh, let's see, we've got our other heroes here, which is a dwarf cleric, another cleric, another fighter, another ranger, and another rogue. So it looks like they're staying with those five with the Paladin from box set two. So I would have liked to seen more stuff like, you know, I get, well, Brunar's a, I mean, uh, Wolfgar's a barbarian. So there's at least a barbarian too, but it would have been cool to see like the sorcerer and the warlock. But then again, it would, you know, they have special mechanics and I don't think it would fit the fourth edition, uh, mechanics for these so i mean it just depends there's stun there's a new stun condition it looks like and then there's the second level versions of them 
So let's uh, let's take a look at all these awesome. Uh, let's take a look at these awesome uh, miniatures and cards. And the great thing about these guys is and gals, wow, there's a bunch of minis in this. And these are all, like I said, these, I, I can just look and these are exactly what the Icons of the Realms minis are. These just are not painted. So you get a 20-sided, that's the only die that you need in the game. Damage is static. Here's the, uh, here's the large minis that are, I've already got, all painted. And they're the same size, they're the same everything. So, as you can see... The Etten, which is a large creature, is a 2x2, two two, and it fits perfectly. So, use these miniatures in your games. Use these tiles to build dungeons and other stuff like that. And so, you, not only do you get to use these with the board game, you get to use them in your round-the-table game. And if you're a novice painter, and if you're going to start learning how to paint like me, these may be a little bit smaller. I think these may be a little bit smaller, uh, millimeter-wise. These may be, what... What is standard? 28? These may be... I don't know. These may be... I don't know. We'll have to see. I'll have to measure them, but I'm not going to get up and bl climb through my green screen and everything else. So, But yeah, 2x2. Two two, these are 1-inch grids for sure. There's uh, the air elemental. Oh, uh, the purple fire elemental. Look at this. Nice, clear, transparent water elemental. Oh, this is the air elemental. Yeah, use these miniatures, guys. These things are great, and like I said, if you're not, if you're going to learn how to paint, paint them. Use these as practice miniatures. Here's a uh, yeah. Here's the uh, the doppelganger. Uh, so I I can tell that right off the bat. Here's the, the troglodytes. So there's going to be troglodytes. Another bag of minis. These may be the heroes. I think the gray may be heroes. No, these are the heroes. Yeah, here's the Sun Elf Wizard, the Cleric. Yeah, pretty cool. Here's the regular sized Elementals. Small air. Ooh, look at that Fire Salamander. That's actually a rare. I only got one of those, and now I've got two. Because I'm going to try to paint it. Stevie Wonder style. Here's a bunch more minis here. It looks like you get, uh, let's see, Bugbear. As Zovia calls them, the Bugabears. Here's the Knoll. I think that's the Knoll champion. Here's uh, another Bugbear. I love the way Zovia says Bugbear. Bug Here's more minis. Just primer these and paint them, guys. Why not? Here's all the cool... Uh, you know what? These are rare. These are r uncommons. So it's nice to get more of these. Paint them up, man. Paint these things up. Learn how to paint. Learn how to primer. That's what I'm going to do. And these are the official icons of the realms. They're just not painted. Oh, here we go. And we got to screw with these bases again, which I'm not even gonna—I'm not even gonna mess with. So here's the black dragon, which is pretty nice. It's already painted for you. You could put some detail on it, though. I would. I'd probably throw some red on the on the wings. Maybe some eye. Paint the eyes on the back of the head like Stevie Wonder. You get a stand and a peg. I'll mess with that later. Oh, what is this? Stand, stand by, guys. What is in this little bag of goodness? I didn't even almost didn't even see that. What is in here? Give me something good, wizards. Stand by. I'm trying to get this. Oh, oh the fire bats. Wow. You guys know I already got a bunch of fire bats. I think I got like five or six fire bats already. So, hey, I'll paint these too. I'll paint them differently. So, very nice, everybody. There's like 40, 50 miniatures in here. We'll just dump those into the miniature bin and get those ready for a assimilation one day. Wow, you got 13 sheets of tiles. Here's the cards. Let's look at these cards. Let's, let's get these things open. Ooh, let's, these are so easy to open now. Thank you, 5th edition. <laughs> There's a couple hundred cards in here. 
Let's check out the treasure cards. And like I said, guys, these are all compatible with the different board games. Two types of treasures. There's the fortunes, which are instant cards. Blessing of Mask. So basically, if you pull this every round, you get a treasure card. If you kill five monsters in a round, you only get one treasure card. So you're limited to one. So if you get this type of item card, which is a fortune card, which is instant and you discard right after you play it. Let's see. Uh, the, defensive, uh, the defenses constructed by the cult are no match for the monster of all thieves. So when you pull this card, you play it immediately and you choose either A or B. I mean, look at how it can't be explained any better than that. So if you choose A, your hero gains 100 gold pieces. Or B, you can disable one trap within one tile of your hero. That's pretty awesome. Discard after playing. So there's instant. Oh, wow. Look at that. Pouch of copper. 100 gold pieces. Okay, so gold's a new mechanic. I'm not... Okay, so now we know in box set four, gold is a new mechanic, and we need to look at that. Well, I will when I when I read the book. So, And here's the... Uh, the items that will stick with you. This, these are the claws of the Umber Hulk, and use instead of an attack action. Oh, wow, nice! So you attack one adjacent monster, which would be melee, plus four to attack and three damage. Wow! And these are three hundred gold pieces. So maybe you can buy items now. I don't know. We'll have to see. There's all kinds of potions and rings and crap like that. Let's put those item cards in there. Uh, mon let's see, uh, what else do we have? We've got our monster cards here. Let's take a look at our monsters. I've already named all the monsters because I know the miniatures. By the, like, the back of my hand, I've opened up a case of every single series for eight cases so far. And I have the complete set of Icons of the Realms with all the special stuff. And I've got about 1,500 of them. And I've got a video to where you can check out everything up to Monster Menagerie 3. So, yeah, check out that video, too. There's your air cultists, your bugbears, your doppelgangers, your earth cultists, fire bats, null archers, the hobgoblin fighters, troglodytes, water cultists. So there's got to be more monsters in here because I, I think that there's going to be more monster cards. Don't forget your sequence of play cards. Here you go. It has everything that you give to your players so they can refer to what they need to do. All right, here are encounter cards. There's multiple types of encounters, from attacks to more monsters to traps to environment. Man, this just keeps getting better and better, doesn't it? Uh, event, attack from shadows. Each hero on a tile with no other hero takes two damage. Wow, that's pretty stiff. Did I, ow, did I just step on a miniature? Ow! A little kobold snuck down there. Ouch! That was like stepping on a four-sided almost. Which I did and it pierced my heel. Oh, I was so mad at my son. I wanted to beat that child. <laughs> but I got up in the middle of the night to go to the bathroom and found a four-sided die on a hard floor. It broke skin, believe me. Event robber Ooh, a robber steals your stuff a shadowy figure appears before you demanding money so when you pull this event you may choose to lose 100 gold pieces if you do not lose 100 gold pieces place a new monster on your hero tile i like that so if you don't if you're like screw you bud i'm you know i'm not giving you my money guess what Roll initiative. Well, there's no initiative, but yeah, because you control the monsters that you pull and you attack other people. So, yeah. So, there's events. There's some attack events. Hailstorm plus seven. Wow, attack each hero on the map. I mean, that's just crazy. Uh, oh, an invisible stalker attack. That's got to be pretty vicious because invisible stalkers are pretty high challenge rating. Your hero discards one item treasure card. Oh, so you get an item stolen from you, and this thing attacks your hero at plus seven and two damage, and on a miss, one damage, and you discard after playing. I love it. Uh, you get hit by a thundering boomerang. Attack your hero twice. <laughs> oh, my gosh. 
<laughs> Plus seven and one damage. Boom, boom. Ow! 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 That, that hurt! Ow! <laughs> uh, let's open up the other... The other deck of cards. The other deck of cards. Here are the... Here's the villains. Well, here's... Yeah, here's more name guys. The adventure cards. Uh, more items... Okay, that's an adventure item. So these are these adventures, these cards are for the adventures itself, and it'll tell you it needs this card or that card or whatever. So here's more events. <laughs> wow, more distant shot. Oh, a dragon ambush? Wow. Attack each hero on your hero's tile at plus eight and four damage. And minus oh well, it's two damage on a miss. Wow, that's pretty insane. And then here's more. I knew there were more monsters. So here's the rest of the monsters. And more f instant fortunes and item. Ooh, the horn of blasting. Let's let's read this. A deafening blast of sound bellows from you from this horn. Use this horn instead of an attack action. Attack each monster on your hero's tile. If the attack hits, move the monster up to one tile away. Plus six and two damage. Flip this card over after use. So you can only use it once. But I want to go back because I want to I want to sh show you the something that I was it something that I I saw. Yeah, devastation orb. I guess not. I guess was it was it an event? I guess not. But yeah, there's environmental and all kinds of stuff. So yeah, that's that's really cool. Man, that's a that's a bunch of uh that's a bunch of cards. So let's put all these let's put all these cards together and get them organized Martha Stewart style. <laughs> Martha Stewart style. What a what a moron. More encounter cards. And then we'll put our adventure cards with our sequence of play cards that a player gets. And it looks like uh, looks like they're the same pretty much. So let's put uh, let's put monster cards here. Then we'll put this. And then we'll take our encounters and our wizard, uh, all our cards for our our heroes. And we'll put them there. But then again, no, we won't because that is not a deep a deep tray so let's uh let's get these adventure cards out really quick well i really goofed up that didn't i tighten up dave what, you, what kind of 7-eleven operation you got going on here so let's let's do uh let's do power cards and let's do sequence of play and hopefully, oh, I don't think it's gonna work. Maybe I gotta put sequence of play. Yeah. Oh yeah. There's only five sequence of play cards. So, all right, there we go. That's as organized as I'm gonna get it. That's a lot of cards, but they didn't make it as the tray as deep as the others. And then here, you take all of your tiles and put them in here with your. Get you some little baggies. And put your other uh, little tokens and the little other tiles and cards and rewards. And don't forget, if you want to read about the game first, download that adventure book from the Wizards of the Coast site. Uh, you can, I'm sorry, the rule book. You can't download the adventure book. But there are sometimes some extra adventures that they have up on the website also. So yeah, pretty cool. Pretty cool. That's the Temple of Elemental Evil. And I, I'm, I'm happy, man. There's a, a new gold mechanic that I'm going to have to read about because I don't remember the gold being in the, the other boxes. And this is box number four, guys. This is the Temple of Elemental Evil box. This is about 40 to $70 on eBay or Amazon or your game store. And don't forget, they're compatible with one another. And they're so airtight, too. Holy cow. And you can... Uh, paint the miniatures you can use those tiles for your around the table game you can use the miniatures i mean it's it's a it's a great deal 
So there you go, everybody. Temple of Elemental Evil. Do you guys play this? Do you play these board games? And, you know, do you mix the board games up? Do you play, you know, with five players? Do you play solo? I want to know. Let me know down in the comment section uh, because I do answer the comments. And if you like the video, do me a favor. Thumbs up the video. If you don't like it, thumbs it down. Uh, I'm going to be doing some mechanics tutorials on these, and I'm also going to be doing solo uh, adventure play too. I'm going to try to I'm going to try to go through all these with Brunor, uh, prob probably probably Brunor or, or Wolfgar. I don't think I'm going to do Drizzt because Drizzt just looks too powerful with two attacks and the Panther. So uh, yeah, I'm going to try these out though. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, like, subscribe, all that good stuff. And until next time, happy gaming, and stay safe.